What's up everybody, JJ here, and today I want to cover five tips for better bed plate adhesion. This is something I often see issues posted on Reddit, people not getting good bed plate adhesion, so I think this is something beginners and experts can both benefit from. So let's get right into it. First off is bed leveling. If you don't have a good nice and level bed, your prints aren't going to work. And I think bed leveling is kind of a skill beginners just have to get good at. And my recommendation is always start with the same material, the same piece of paper you're going to be using. I always use a post-it note folded in half. Folded in half to keep the stickiness on the inside. That way you're always using the same thickness of material. You could buy feeler gauges. Some people like those because it's a piece of metal that will always be the same thickness. I always just have post-it notes around so I just like to use these. Or if you use a business card, always use the same thing. That way when you're doing the paper test, you're kind of learning what pressure works well with your material. With something thin like this, I just kind of know what pressure I like. It's very light pressure on a thin piece of paper like this. If you're using something thicker like a business card, you'll want a lot more pressure. And so treat it like a skill, just learn what pressure works well with the material you're using. My next tip would be in the slicer. Get to know brim, skirt, and raft. I pretty much always use a skirt. It kind of primes the nozzle right before it starts working on the print, instead of doing a priming line on the edge of your printer. Brims are useful on certain models that don't have much surface area touching the build plate. That gives you a little bit of extra surface area and holds down those pieces. A raft, I think, is more of a specialty thing. If your printer has a heated bed, you don't need to use a raft every single time. But if you're printing a bunch of really small pieces, it can help to hold things down. Your third tip will be glue stick. I think it's important to know when to use glue stick. I don't like using it on every single print because it's just a consumable item that will get used up and I don't want to keep buying glue sticks, but I do think it's useful. There are some 3D models that just don't have much surface area touching the build plate, and so sometimes just a little bit of glue stick can really help hold things down, especially if you're going into more difficult materials like PETG, especially some ABS or ASA. Just a little bit of glue stick on the corners can sometimes really help with holding certain models down. So don't be afraid to use it, but I don't like using it all the time. It's just an extra thing I would have to deal with, and most 3D models printed in PLA don't really need glue stick. The fourth tip is to know how to refresh and clean your bed, especially if you're using glue stick. Sometimes it can help to clean all that off. And so if your print bed is removable, this one just has four clips on the corner. You can easily pop this off, take it to the sink, just wash it with a little bit of hand soap or dish soap, scrub it off. That cleans off the glue stick or whatever other residue there is there and then you can bring it back. I do like wiping down the print bed with isopropyl alcohol. Every couple prints, I'll just splash some on here, give it a little wipe down. That seems to really refresh the bed and keep it going. And then eventually even that won't work. And taking a light abrasive, this is a thousand grit sandpaper or the abrasive side of a dish sponge. Make sure it's a clean one, not some nasty one you have under your sink and give it a little scrub. That can help add just enough friction to help your print stick down, but not enough to leave big gouges in there to mess up your print. Don't use a super low grit sand paper, a thousand works great. And your fifth tip, if all of these aren't working or eventually a print bed I think will wear out, you can upgrade. This is a Garolite G10 build plate. I have a whole separate video covering these and I love it as a print surface. This glass bed came stock on here, but I do think eventually I'll upgrade to one of these because I just love using these. They're cheap, they come in really fun colors like this, and the print quality you get off them is just glass smooth releases easy. They're just amazing to work with. Well, anyway, I hope these five tips have helped you out. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to elaborate on any of them if you need some more help. I thought this would just be kind of an overview video for anyone who gets stuck and needs a refresher of some ideas to try out. If you've enjoyed this video, hitting that like and subscribe button down below always helps me out and lets me know you like this type of content. And let me know if you want me to keep making videos like this. I think it's always important to go back to the basics and there's always people new to the 3D printing community. So it's always great to help people along as they're learning this hobby. But anyway, now that you've got good bed adhesion, go out there, create something amazing today and I'll see you in the next video.